Hey, it's Sean and Jennifer Irvin hey. again. Professional painting. We are in Kingsland, Georgia, and the Fiddler's Cove part of Laurel Island Plantation. And we are back here again where we were filling cracks a week ago. And I wanted to let you see what the results turned out like so that you could decide for yourself if this is the right technique for you. Um, That's a was a pretty good sized crack there. I think all of these walls had cracks in them. And uh, definitely some big ones on this wall before. And I'm very pleased with the way we were able to minimize their appearance. And I don't think it could be done much better than that. I can't tell where they were. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with the results, that's for sure. I know that, um, if you saw the other video or if you do take time to refer back to it you will see that most of these walls were covered with cracks and they've been remedied uh, i'm definitely happy with the results and i really want to thank you know our craftsmen that put their heart into it and and maybe do more than what they think is reasonable to achieve these types of results and maybe we don't make money sometimes but man uh, i think a job well done is is more important than profit on every job or making sure that you know every job meets a certain percentage of profit i just don't i don't believe in that i i believe that if you just get by and you're able to make the salaries every week and pay for your materials and do things like that well, that's a blessing enough and profit is reserved for those who are excellent at what they do and it's not a given it shouldn't be an automatic expectation for any person to profit from something that, you know, that's not well done. Uh, profit's like a tip, almost. You don't get that unless you go above and beyond and really work hard for it. So um, we try to be as fair as we can with our clients. We obviously want to make money, but we only want to earn it in a way that feels fair to everyone involved in the transaction. So again, these cracks, I'm definitely proud of the way they turned out. I can't even locate most of them to be honest with you and I imagine you probably can't either. The thickness of these two coatings combined is just positively impressive. The The wall doesn't even feel like cement anymore. It has a very acrylic type of softened feel to it and it's a testament to the amount of paint that went onto this house. I, this particular point in time I think we're approaching the $1,700 maybe $2,000 worth of paint on this house and so yeah, it's going to be a difficult time with materials next month, but you know, that's what it takes. You got to put that money to the side and be faithful and pay your bills on time. Do what you say you're going to do. So we really hope that this is helpful to you guys moving forward and we appreciate everyone. We hope you'll like and subscribe, share, comment on our videos. And we thank you so much. It's a blessed day and we hope you have a great day. See you on the next video.